VEMP4 is a bioregulator peptide specifically designed to support vascular health by targeting the circulatory system and blood vessels. And by the age of 40, most of us have some degradation to our circulation, so stay tuned to find out all the longevity benefits of VEMP4. So in simple terms, bioregulator peptides are short chains of amino acids, typically between two and four in length, and they're like signaling molecules, you know, to for certain organs to regenerate them being such small peptides. And because these peptides come from natural sources, they can be sold as a starchery supplement. And because they're very small in length, then they can be absorbed, you know, in the digestion. While yes, the bioavailability of taking them orally is only 10 to 50% compared to doing an injection, there are ways to maximize that, which I'll get onto with my own personal research of using this bioregulator. So Ventfort can help repair and rejuvenate blood vessels, improving their elasticity and function. It can improve endothelial function too, so improving oxygen and nutrient delivery to uh, muscles and organs. And this crosses over even into skin health, you know, blood flow to extremities, a lot of forward 40 year olds, you know, comparing their skin to when they were 20, there's a big difference. Same with uh, extremities too. Maybe their nails have become more brittle over time, especially the toenails get thicker, that kind of thing. Benfort was also believed to improve nitric oxide production, so further improving vasodilation. And a precursor to that is, you know, a poor erection quality. If you're on a high meat diet, yes, it's great for building muscle and muscles pro longevity, you know, avoiding frailty with age, but it does stiffen up your arteries because your blood is more acidic rather than alkaline. So that'd be a cue to use Ventfor as a preventative measure to improve the vessel flexibility, as well as knowing your risk of atherosclerosis and hypertension. And this crosses over into lipids too. If you've got, um, you know, poor HDL, like if it's too low and high LDL, then uh, Venfort can help there too. By having better oxygen and nutrient delivery, it can help with uh, inflammation and oxidative stress. These are all things I keep a close eye on. So that gets me onto my own personal cycle with Ventfort. I'm doing it as a more of a preventative thing, but then during winter time, because my body fat, I think is around the 5% mark, I do get very cold. I take a lot of drugs to uh, stimulate autophagy, you know, uh, downregulate mTOR so my cellular turnover is very low combined with a low body fat in winter time I get very cold and so uh, my body is a protective mechanism it sends blood away from my extremities to keep it in my core and so it, although I've got very healthy circulation a good vasodilation even then because of the cold weather during winter I have to be mindful of that. Check out our 12 month rejuvenation program where every three months we look at 225 different bar markers and get your future vitality optimized. There's even a six month break clause if your situation was to change. So with the cycle of Ventfor, I was doing two pills a day, but I was doing one in the morning, but before breakfast, and then one in the evening before dinner, just because you don't want food to mess with the absorption of it. And the reason why I do it twice a day is you get uh, vascular support both morning and evening rather than doing it uh, previously. I've done other cycles of bar regulators and I've done them both in the morning, but I believe you get better bioavailability when you spread out through the day because they only last so long. And typically with peptides, the higher you go with the dose, the lower the bioavailability. So that's why I'd rather split it into two doses and then get that uh, nighttime repair as well to my vascular system. And by doing this Ventfort cycle for 15 days, it means I get two cycles out of the box. And so what I'll do this time is wait till around October, late October, when the weather starts getting cold, just to prepare my body again for that winter time. And in a few months time, I'm gonna be doing a true age complete test. And then one of the aspects I'm gonna be looking at is my symphony age. And one of them is looking at my heart age. And so various different biomarkers in that. And I have done a previous cycle of Fasugan, just again to help with vascular health. And you've got to remember with bioregulators, it can take weeks to months to really take full effect. So it's something you want to look at as a long-term trend. Dr. Bill Lawrence has been looking at people's epigenetics and telomere length, and he's been seeing some great improvements doing a range of different bioregulators. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on his research. I do get a lot of questions about bioregulators then being available in oral form. And yeah, I think Ventfort is one of the starter ones to go with, as I mentioned about circulation being a common thing as a decline in even in early middle age. You've got to remember with bioregulators, yes, they're working at a genetic level, signaling cellular repair, but that it tends to work in synergy with other things. So if you've got a really bad lifestyle, you're smoking heavily, 
that kind of thing, it's not gonna bode too well for you. It's, you might get some benefit, but if you're trying to improve things at the same time, those are the people that get the best results with bar regulators. One contraindication with using Ventfor is it can have a blood thinning effect. So if you're on anticoagulant medication, then I would speak to your doctor before using it. But yeah, if you've got any feedback with using any bar regulators, Ventfor in particular, then please do comment down below. I've been getting my um, Ventfor from a Cosmic Nootropic. I've been using them for over three years now. They get really high grade uh, pharmaceutical products and lots of good customer reviews as well. So if you like that video, then check out my other one on my other bar regulator cycle using three different bar regulators, one for my liver, my heart, and my cartilage as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.